Hey everyone, welcome back to another After Effects tutorial. Today, we are going to create a clean fashion slideshow, like this. So let's get started. First open After Effect, and create a new composition, 1920 by 1080, and it's called the main comp. Then again create a new composition. It's called scene 1. Then create one more composition. It's our BG placeholder composition. And now create one more composition. It's called BG Grid Composition. Then select the Rectangle tool, and create a rectangle like this. Align the rectangle box top and left side. Now duplicate this rectangle box and move down, and adjust like this. We need to create multiple rectangle box to fill our composition, so I am skipping this part so you don't have to wait. After creating multiple box our composition looks like this. Now we need animate opacity of all these rectangle boxes, so randomly select the few rectangle boxes. and hit T for opacity, and add a keyframe, then go few frame back and change the opacity 0%. Now again select rectangle box randomly and hit T for opacity. and change the opacity around 80%, then go to few frame back and change the opacity 0%. Do the same with other boxes also, you can change the opacity according to your choice, so I am skipping this part so you don't have to wait. After animated all the rectangle boxes it's look like this. You can also adjust the keyframe according to your choice. And after just all the keyframe it's look like this. Perfect, it's look good to me. Now go to BG placeholder composition, and drag your footage into the timeline. Resize if required. Now go to scene 1 composition, and drag BG placeholder composition, and also drag BG grid composition into the timeline. Select BG placeholder and change track mat to alpha mat. Perfect. And also change the opacity around 15%. Now select the text tool, and create a random text and increases the size. Then hit T for opacity and change opacity around 8%. Now again create a new composition, it's called Medu 1 composition. Then again create a new composition, and it's called Media Placeholder 1. And also duplicate the BG Grid composition and rename this composition as Media Grid 1. Now go to Media 1 composition, and drag Media Placeholder 1, and Media Grid 1, composition into the timeline. Open Media Grid 1 composition. Then select the Null Layer, which we already parent with all shape layer, hit S for scale, so scale the rectangle boxes, so it's fit perfectly into the composition. After adjust the, the rectangle boxes. Delete the extra rectangle boxes.
perfect, it's look good to me. Now go to media 1 composition, and open media placeholder 1 composition, then drag your footage into the timeline, then go to media 1 composition, and select media placeholder 1 and change track mat alpha mat, now go to scene 1 composition, and drag media 1 composition into the timeline, perfect, it's look good to me. Now we need to add some element for our composition, select the rectangle tool and create a shape like this, and change the color as you like. Then create one more shape and move the anchor point center of the shape. First select the big shape layer, and hit S for scale, and uncheck the link, then go to around 3 second forward, and add keyframe on scale. Then go to first frame and change the Y scale value 0%. Do the same animation with second shape layer. Select all keyframe and easy ease them and go to graph editor and make your graph like this. Now add some text element into our composition. After adding text, our composition look like this. As you can see we add some text here. Now select all layers and convert into 3D layer. Then go to 2 views horizontal view. And select the, the shape and text layers. And move Z position little bit close to camera. Then also select these two text and move little bit close to camera. As you can see this text hide behind our shape layer. So select text layer, and move the Z position little bit close to camera. So that we can easily see our text. Now select the shape layer and apply drop shadow effect. Distance around 20. Softness around 150. And opacity around 20%. Now copy this drop shadow effect and apply to other shape layer. And the direction opposite side. Now we need to animate all layers. So create a new camera layer. I am using 35mm preset camera. Then create a new null layer. And convert into 3D layer. Parent your camera with null layer. Then go to around 3 second forward, and add a keyframe on position. Then go to first frame and change the X value, so that your layers goes out of the frame. Select both keyframe and easy ease them, and make your graph like this. Now go to around 4 second forward, and add a keyframe on the same position value. Then go to few frame forward and change the Y position, so that our all layers goes out of the composition. Now we need to animate this text, open text layer go to animate and select opacity, and change opacity 0%. Then open range select a 1. And go to around 2 and half second forward. And add keyframe on offset, and change the offset 100%. Then go to first frame and change offset minus 100%. Now open advance and change shape ramp up. And randomize order on.
Do the same with this text also. Now go to the keyframe where our all layer goes down, then select all layer and hit T for opacity. And add a keyframe, then go to few frame forward and change the opacity 0%. Now go to main composition and drag scene 1 composition into the timer line, now create a background layer, so create a new solid layer, and apply gradient ramp effect and change the color which you want. and change the opacity around 60%. Perfect, it's look good to me. Our animation has done, hit 0 for render. Thanks for watching, I hope you like the video. If you like the video please share it, like it, and subscribe our channel. For more tutorial I'll see you in the next video.